We're two weeks into 2018, and CIAA divisional play is off to a hot start. Shaw University rolled onto the campus of Livingstone College looking to go heads up with a tough Livingstone Blue Bear squad. Shaw came into Salisbury with the reigning CIAA Newcomer of the Week and straight-up beast in Arizona State transfer, Savon Goodman, who is already developing good chemistry with another Shaw Bear beast and senior guard, D'Angelo Stevens-Bell. I'm telling you, this duo from the 919 is going to be a problem in the CI this year. Now before I take you into these highlights, let's take a moment to bask in the litness of the layup line dunk contest. Mm. These boys were throwing it down in the pregame, which is definitely a good precursor to this game because, uh, spoiler alert, somebody's getting boomed on later in this highlight. On to the first half, the Shaw Bears brought the shooters with them from Raleigh. Here, Devon Kelsey takes the ball rotation to the corner for three. Next, he pulls up from Concord Mills on this deep three. There goes six of his 13 points off the rip. Shaw will go up by as many as 13 in the first half, mostly in part to the Broad Street bully, Philadelphia's own Savon Goodman. I mean, this dude is a monster on the block, and he plays with a chip on his shoulder, to say the least. He finished with 29 points, 11 rebounds, and I'm pretty sure he left Salisbury with about $15 worth of Blue Bear lunch money. Uh, notice to the rest of the CIAA, Savon Goodman does not play. The Blue Bear is not just about to get punked out here on their own court. Livingstone goes on an 11-2 run to cut the deficit to four late in the half. But Shaw's three-point shooting comes up big down the stretch and helps give the Bears a nine-point lead going into halftime. It was Founders Day for the Delta Sigma Theta sorority, and the Livingstone Deltas came to slay. We see you, ladies, and let me wish y'all a happy Founders Day with a strong ooh whoop from HBCU Game Day. Second half, we had more D'Angelo Stevens Bell and more Savon Goodman, which put the Shaw Bears back up double digits in the second. But again, the Blue Bears refuse to let it get out of hand. They go on another big run, outscoring Shaw 15 to two. And this three ball from sophomore Roger Ray gives Livingstone their first lead of the game. But D'Angelo Stevens Bell comes right back with a tough drive and score here. Then he follows it up with this dime to Savon Goodman who finishes with the slam. Dun dun uh, dun dun uh. Let the boys be boys! Shaw will go on a 7-0 run to put them back up by 12. Senior Kalik Williams gets my filet of the day with this acrobatic up and under for the end one. Livingstone would make one final comeback attempt. Here we got freshman Lydell Elmore catching this one off the bounce for the strong flush. Roger Ray adds this clutch three to get the deficit back into single digits with around a minute left. And as promised, the play of the day ends up sealing the game mostly because it cleared out the entire gym. D'Angelo Stevens Bell gets the inbound pass, takes it coast to coast, and puts Cameron Burhannon on a poster. The Livingstone fans immediately exit stage right, and the Shaw Bears ride back to Raleigh with their first division win and a 4 and 2 conference record. These two teams will see each other again, more specifically in Raleigh on February 7th for round two of this sure-to-be-physical division matchup.